I've got the new face palette by Natasha Denona. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. If you're new here, I invite you to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. As I just mentioned, I just got the new Natasha Denona face palette that contains contour and bronzer, two blushes, five shimmery eyeshadows. Now these are new formulas, so I'm very interested and exciting to try these out and give you my opinion. When I first got this and opened up and, real and actually realized that there was just shimmer shades in here, I thought, oh no, what am I gonna do? But we're gonna use some of the bronzers to more define the eyes, so this will be fun. But I'm gonna close that up for now and we're gonna get on with the rest of this. I'm gonna be taking my Nude Sticks Dewy Barrier Hydrating Stick and I'm just gonna be adding some of this moisture under my eyes. I really enjoy this stick. It seems to really provide a lot of hydration and help that makeup lay down without it settling so much into those fine lines and wrinkles. And I'm just gonna rub that in a little bit. I'm gonna be taking the Faux Filter Color Corrector by Huda Beauty in the shade Cherry Blossom. And I'm just going to do a little color correcting where my eyes tend to be a little more blue than the rest of my skin. And I'm gonna tap that in with my finger. I am finding that applying some of this under eye stuff with my finger tends to help it go on a little bit smoother. It's like the product is warming up and it just gives a more seamless application. And I'm gonna do the same thing under this eye. And I'm gonna take my damp sponge and just press that all in. I'm gonna be using my new Fenty concealer today. Mine is in the shade 170C. I really am enjoying this concealer. This really lays down nice. It doesn't seem to settle into the fine lines. It's just doing a really good job. And you know how I feel about concealers. They're, they have a very nice love-hate relationship with them. But this one seems to be doing really good. And I'm actually putting a little bit more on my troubled areas today. Just because I have not tried to use this. More like a foundation and I like to do that once in a while just to see how it works overall. I'm going to be taking my Hourglass foundation brush and I'm just going to be blending that out before I put my foundation on. Just for some added coverage, this looks really, really nice. So you might have noticed, I don't have my hair up in a towel. So the last time I got my hair cut, I get my hair cut by a curl specialist, and she suggested that after that last haircut that I wait a couple weeks and then let it air dry more, wearing a headband while I'm doing my makeup, just to see if we can get a little bit more body out of it, more body and more defined curls. I was challenged, I was challenged by my daughter a few years ago, and at that time I was wearing a very short pixie. She said, Mom, I want you to grow your hair down to your behind. And I'm like, I've never had long hair in my adult life. So I thought, okay, I'm always up for a challenge. I mean, I haven't always worn a pixie. I've worn chin length bobs and you know, all, this, all the things, but I've never had long hair since I was little. So challenge accepted. And then my hair curled, as you know, I'm in this total different world of now I have curly hair, I'm growing it out, and so I have to try new things to keep up with my hair and make sure that it's looking its best. So today I have it up in a headband. And it actually feels a little strange because I can feel my wet hair on, on the back of my neck and I'm like, ugh, ugh. But we're good. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And if you can remember back when I had that sample, the color was way off and I thought I really liked the way that it set. So I really wanted to get a full size of this. I decided to go with three neutral. So let's give this a whirl and see how it looks. Brand new, well it's not brand new. I've actually had it sitting on my desk for quite a while and I just haven't gotten around to trying it. So we're gonna try this out and see how that looks. And it looks nice and thin. I like when it runs down because then it to me is a lighter weight foundation but it still has to have good coverage. So I'm gonna take that same hourglass foundation brush, pick that up off the back of my hand, and I'm just gonna start applying that. Now this is really, really light. I, so far, like the way that it feels. Don't forget to get the end of your nose underneath by your nostrils, otherwise you have different colored nostrils. That doesn't always look so good. Take a little bit more up on my forehead and I'm going to take my damp sponge and press all that in. 
Get all the brush marks out, blend it out under my chin, bring it down on my neck just so make sure that it all matches, and just make this a flawless, flawless look. Now, from here to my mirror away, it looks wonderful. I'm not sure if you're picking this up, but this looks really, really nice. Up close, it looks pretty good too. I like the coverage that it's giving. I like the color of this, where I usually get a cool tone, as you know, but this shade was recommended when I put in my information on Sephora. And this is what it came up with. They did pretty good. All right, moving on to this new palette. So as you can see, there's three shades of bronzer colors in here. We've got what I would say a contour, but it looks maybe a little dark. I'm not sure, we'll try it. And two lighter bronzers. I'm gonna give these a swatch for you. That's what they look like on my fingers. And then I'm just gonna swatch those out. I think all three of these are good colors, so I'm gonna give them a whirl. I'm gonna dip into this darker shade first. Now, as you can see, this BK Beauty 109 brush is a pretty small brush and it just fits. So I think the pan maybe should be a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna dip in just to that dark, darker shade. Tap it off a little bit on my hand because you just don't know. And I'm gonna just kind of sculpt out that cheekbone. Now this seems a little bit warm and I'm gonna blend it out. So I just want you to see what it looks like first up. I'm gonna take my Big Morphe by Ariel Collection fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that out some and it's blending out really nice. So I'm very happy with that so far. I'm gonna take a little bit more on the end of this brush and I'm gonna go under my jawline, give that some definition, help shadows out any of your double chins if you have them, I do. Makes your face look a little bit slimmer. And I'm also gonna take that shade and I'm gonna bring it up here just a little bit and warm up the forehead. Now I thought this was gonna be much too dark for me, but it's really going on very nice. I'm gonna take the same fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into both of these bronzer colors. Tap that brush off and I'm gonna just go over that a little bit again. Natasha Denona is definitely up there with the best brand that there is. I just, I can't get enough. Every time I see something new of hers come out, I have to buy it. <laughs> and I really wish <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> but I do, because they're just so lovely, so lovely. Look at how nice that blends in, guys. Moving on to the blush. As you can see, there's two shades in there, and I'll give those a swatch for you as well. There they are up close. And as you can see, this one looks more like a corally melon color, and this one is a very light baby, baby pink. So I think this lighter shade is going on a little bit lighter than I prefer, but it is beautiful. I'm gonna go into this darker shade and see what happens. Actually, I'm gonna blend into both of those. I think if I do them both at the same time, we might get the preferred shade. And I just touch it very, very lightly. No, I think that's much better. So this palette was created so you can grab the palette and go. It says it's an all natural, no makeup, makeup look palette, which I like to wear makeup, so I'm not going to have the no makeup, makeup look with it. Okay, these are very nice, very nice. I'm gonna take my damp sponge and just soften out those edges just a little bit. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my eyelid with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. As you know, I've been using this most of the winter because it just seems to be a, quite a bit more hydrating than what I usually use. I'm gonna clean out my eyebrows from any foundation or any of that primer. Just get them nice and clean before I go in with my brow gel, which I'm gonna do next. And taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel, I'm just gonna add that to my brows, and then while well, that's drying down and getting all set, then I will do my eyeshadow. And I'm trying in my brain right now while I'm doing this, wondering how I am going to do those eyeshadows, which one I'm gonna choose and how I'm gonna lay them on because I don't always, I, I never wear just shimmer shades. So we're gonna make it work. So using my BK Beauty 202 brush, I'm gonna go into this lightest bronzer shade and I am going to start building up that in the crease. And if I need to go darker, I can. There are no matte shades in the eyeshadows in this palette, so you improvise. And we're just building this up in the crease. I'm gonna go this to the next shade darker, just to give it a little more definition. I'm gonna take my Angie Hot and Flashy A502 brush. I'm gonna dip into this even darker bronzer shade. This is the contour shade. And I'm actually gonna start building that up on the outside corner. So I'm just giving this a little bit more definition 
just a little bit more depth in the outer corner. Now I'm gonna swatch all five of these eyeshadows for you. The first one is called Every Day, and that looks like a bronzy brown with a little gold shifty sort of in it. The second one is called Dreamy, and that looks like a very nice inner corner shade to me. The next one over is called Statement, and that this one, it's a darker brown. And then we have Soft, and this looks like a peachy, shimmery, pinky shade. These are all very lovely. And then we have Casual at the end. And this is a, like a charcoal-y type shade. I think what I'm gonna do is go into the shade Statement here with that same Angie Hot and Flashy A502 brush, and I'm gonna dip into that, and I'm gonna also put just a little bit of this on the outside corner. Now I'm not big into the one and dones, but I am big into Natasha Denona, hence why I bought it. <laughs> I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Soft, and I'm gonna place that right next to that outer corner. Give it a little color. This is extremely light. I don't even know if it's showing up for you. Add a little bit more. These are very silky smooth. They don't feel the same as the wet formula, but they're very, very silky. Then I'm going to go into this lighter shade right here. That's called Dreamy, and I'm going to pick that up too on my ring finger, and I am going to just give that wash of color all over that inner corner. Same thing over here. That is a nice, nice, beautiful shade. Oh my goodness. And it goes on just like butter. These are beautiful and they're very easy to work with, but keep that in mind. They're all shimmery shades. I'm going to go in with that darkest bronzer color again and just add a little bit more there. And of course, once my brows and lashes are on, we'll go in and touch that up some more. Lovely. Speaking of brows and lashes, I'm going to go do that. And when I'm done, we will continue on with this look. I'll be right back. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know So after I got this far and I've been looking at my eyeshadow up close I really, really like this But when I was thinking about it when it comes to the lower lash line eyeliner, I'm not sure if I wanna use one of these shimmers. I think this is the closest one I can use. So on second thought, let's just go ahead. Let's go ahead and stick with that just so we can stay with this palette and do a true test. So I'm gonna take my BK Beauty smudgy brush. I'm gonna dip into that shade called Statement and just see what we can come up with here. Now it's going on pretty light, which as you know, I don't like, but that doesn't mean we can't layer it up. So we're gonna work with it just see what we can get. I'm gonna add a little bit more. It actually looks very nice. I'm gonna do the same on this side. It layers really, really nice. That went on very well. I am so thrilled with that. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Lash Discovery Mascara for my lower lash line. Those eyes to pop just a little bit more. Get them wide open. I think that looks really nice. When I get back from doing my hair, I've, the thoughts keep running through my head about this palette 
and we'll give it a little consideration when I get back and just talk about it a little bit and would I recommend that you buy this? Would I tell you don't waste your money? I have a few more thoughts. And I'm back. First thing I'm going to say is the hair with the headband, I'm actually very happy with it. I thought it would be all pressed up here and not being able to get those curls released from my scalp. When you have natural curly hair, and you use lots of products in it, it tends to weigh down and stick to your scalp and you have to do a lot of lifting and I thought that was really going to be a problem, but it didn't. My curls are looser, so my hair looks longer, which I wanted. So I'm going to continue with that for a while. I hope you're okay with that. You've all gotten used to be wearing a towel on my head the first minute of these videos, but it's time to change things up just a little bit. We're going to touch up this makeup a little bit and I actually am not going to put on any more blush or bronzer under my cheekbones. This has really stood up well while I was doing my hair and I think it looks good when my hair is all down. So we are going to touch up the eye makeup and I'm going to go back in with my Angie Hot and Flashy 502 brush. I'm going to dip back into this darker bronzer shade and I'm going to just bring that up a little bit further over the length of my lashes. I'm going to take my shimmer shade brush and I'm going to dip into that shade statement and I'm going to just dot that a little bit there in that outer corner just to give that a little bit more depth. I'm going to go back into this pinky shade called soft and I'm going to set that actually right in the center of my eye and it is very very soft. And taking that same brush, I'm going to go into this shimmer shade called Dreamy and just add a little bit more to the inner corner. Now I just noticed that had a little bit of fallout, which I wasn't expecting. I'm going to take my blendy brush and just do some blending here to soften it out. And I'm going to take my BK Beauty 202 brush and I'm going to go into this lightest bronzer shade and I'm going to go over the top of all of those shades just to blend them all together. Very happy with it. In my opinion, this is a very nice palette. Is this something that I would recommend that you run out and buy? I don't recommend that you just run out and buy it. Unless you are one of those women that like to have everything under one roof. It can do several complete looks. All of these shadows are meant for one and dones. These are delightful bronzers. The blushes are beautiful. So if that's something you like, is to have a one and done palette, I say go get it. It's $62. I got mine on the Natasha Denona website. I had some points that I used. I also had a discount code. So I got mine for less than $30. That's why it's worth it to me. So if that's something you're into, go ahead. If not, that's okay too. All right, moving on to lips. I've got a new Milani lipstick. This is in the shade Lingerie and it's quite bright. I'll do a little swatch of this for you as well. And that's what it looks like on my hand. Look at this cute packaging though. I just think it's absolutely adorable. I'm gonna go on softly and see what we get. This is a really nice shade. I thought it was gonna be a lot brighter than it is. This is very, very smooth. It's very silky. There's no fragrance to this at all. It went on super, super easy. That means it could come off super, super easy, but I really like the way that it feels. And it's a great shade. I'm gonna go in behind this with the Natasha Denona Berry Pop lip liner just to get a little bit more definition. That gives it a whole bunch of wow factor. I'm also gonna follow that up with this Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Bubblegum, just because I prefer a gloss. <laughs> this is really a nice shade too. I'm gonna swatch that right below this. Nope, it's right above the lipstick. That is a good combination. I like it, not just my shirt. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm going to let you go for now. I hope you're well wherever you are. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here to take part in all the fun. On that note, I hope you're well wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye!